The Sony ZV-1 has got incredible high frame rate modes, which allows you to capture a couple of seconds of action. But that's it, it's just a couple of seconds, so it is limited. What if I told you there's a mode in this camera that allows you slow motion with no limits? I'll show you how next. To shoot unlimited slow motion, what you gotta do is jump from the file format, which is in movie one. So let's select this and make sure you're on XAVC SHD. And then if you go to the record setting, this is where the magic 120 frames per Peter McKinnon, high peak, 120p is there. 100 megabits per second or 60 megabits per second, essentially the higher than the M number here, 100 megabits per second, the more data the camera is going to take in and the better and crispier the footage is going to look. So let's have this at 100 megabits per second. And that's kind of it. Before we kind of get into a super tip that's going to save you digging in and out of these menus all the time, let's take a quick look at the kind of settings that we need to shoot with. So if we go back here to the main screen, we got to have our shutter speed twice the frame rate. So the frame rate is 120 p so the shutter speed needs to be twice that so 120 and 120 is 240 so let's bring this down to 240 so we can only get to 250 which is close enough have your aperture at whatever you want remember the lower the aperture the bigger the blur behind you and then the iso have that at whatever you need as well now the one kind of downside of shooting 120p is that the autofocus doesn't work fully so stuff like face tracking and the eye autofocus do not work in 120p However, However, the normal autofocus does work. It's a little bit slow, so you might want to jump into manual focus mode, which you can set up a shortcut for that I've shown you in another video, link in the description for that. But if you want to jump in, you can go to page five, focus mode, select manual focus, and then you can focus the camera on manual focus, and then you can select what you want to focus on. So it's as easy as that. The other step here, and this is going to save you so much time, as opposed to kind of digging into focus modes, as opposed to digging through the menus, trying to find your 120p, here's a shortcut. You can assign all of this to a mode button. So anytime you want to shoot your B-roll or whatever you need in 120p, you can just press mode and go in here. So the step is, again, hit menu, camera settings one. We are on page four of 12. Let's select this. And now we can see whatever the current camera settings are. You can set those up to whatever you want as we've already done. And you can assign it to memory one, memory two, memory three, whatever you want. So once you've got it set up and ready to go, simply select whatever one and press select. Then it says registered. So the next time you want to get your 120p mode, press mode, go to MR, which is memory recall, hit that, and then you've got your options to recall one, two, or three, or whatever it is. So in my case, it was going to be one, hit that, and you're good to go to shoot your 120p whenever you want. Just before, I'll say something else, obviously. When you're working with 120p footage, it's not going to spit out a file that's already slowed down like you would get in the high frame rate mode. The Sony ZV-1 is going to give you a full video file that you're going to have to slow down yourself in post-production. On something like Adobe Premiere, you got to reduce the speed, which is Control and R. You can right click and you can reduce the speed there in the frame rate. On a 24p timeline, you can reduce the speed of 120p to roughly about 20%, which is super slow and looks super cinematic. Super, super, super. And of course you can time ramp it and speed ramp it and do all kinds of ramps and stuff with it. But that is how you get unlimited slow motion on the Sony ZV-1. Use it sparingly, by the way. And the one thing I would say when it comes to shooting B-roll, it has to help you tell the story that you're trying to tell. And the B-roll has to kind of tell the story. So if you saw the sequence at the start, you kind of see there's family walk and there's going to be photographs. So it has to kind of tell some story as opposed to a random B-roll that is absolutely irrelevant to what you're talking about, like this. My name is Vic Barry. There is an epic bunch of super fast tips for the Sony ZV-1 right up here if you want to check that out. And if you found this video useful, please consider hit 
in subscribe. I'm going to finish up because the words ain't coming out of my mouth the way they should. We'll see you in the next video and until then, don't stop fighting for yourself. Pah! Should have been that. Yeah.